The private information of thousands of our country's veterans may have been shared online. National Security Correspondent Jennifer Griffiths on this story live at the Pentagon. Jennifer, good morning to you. Uh, this deals with a veterans benefits website. Was their financial information compromised? Well, good morning, Bill. The data breach occurred on January 15th, and according to the VA, about 5,000 veterans were affected, which is a small portion of the 3.3 million veterans who use the site. But for those who logged on to check on their benefits and found they had access to other veterans' personal information, it was very troubling. I spoke to one veteran from Florida who asked that we not use his name. He's suffering from post-traumatic stress, and he got very emotional when he described what happened. He could see other veterans' banking information. I actually saw another veteran's name, the last four of their social, their street address where they live, the dates of their service, and the amount they get paid for disability, and the percentage of their disability, so their full benefits uh, letter for record. So while this is a small data breach, Bill, it hit a very vulnerable community that has already had so many problems with the VA bureaucracy. Well, I bet. Yeah. Has the VA fixed the problems with the, the website, Jennifer? Well, yes. In fact, the VA says it fixed the software glitch, and the system went back online last Sunday night. A spokesman for the VA issued the following statement, quote, the Department of Veterans Affairs, the VA, takes seriously our obligation to properly safeguard personal information during a limited period of time Wednesday evening, that's last week, as part of a process to improve software supporting the joint VA and Department of Defense Benefits web portal, eBenefits. The VA is also offering those affected by the data breach free credit monitoring in the event that any criminals manage to steal the identities of these veterans. As of now, there's no evidence that that has happened, but many veterans who are uh, getting used to filing claims online found the incident very disconcerting. And in fact, uh, Congressman Jeff Miller of Florida, who has oversight for the VA, is calling for all veterans to have this credit monitoring um, offered by the VA. Well, okay, Bill? Jennifer, thank you. We'll watch it. Jennifer Griffin from the Pentagon. <laughs>